everyone and welcome to Obsidian Soft. It is class number 12 of my mental math video series and I will be teaching you a very nice trick for quickly dividing any number by a two digit number such as questions like 938 divided by 67 and we will not be using long division because very few people will be knowing the table of 67 right but before I start telling you about that trick you need to know about some division terminologies because we will be using them constantly in our trick okay so in the question 35 divided by 7 is equal to 35 is the dividend okay and the 7 is the divisor you should know about these terminologies and what is the answer to 35 divided by 7 7 multiplied by 5 is 35 so the answer is 5 with no remainder because it's a clean division it's a full division so this answer is our quotient okay and here in this case the remainder is 0 okay so this R is for remainder and it's zero. And let's look at another question, okay? 56 divided by six. Now what is the answer to this question? We know that six multiplied by nine is 54. So nine is a good starting point for solving this question, okay? So nine is the answer, but it's not the perfect answer because 56 is not 54. So we have to subtract 54 from 56 to get the remainder of 2. See, 56 minus 54 is equal to 2. So again, let me reiterate the terminologies. 56 dividend, 6 divisor, 9 quotient with the remainder. This so this is how you write it 9 r 2 9 is the quotient the answer and with the remainder 2 okay so let's now go on to our trick so let's answer 247 divided by 19 okay so how to do this question so look at this 19 the divisor and let's make it a multiple of 10 okay so how can we make it a multiple of 10 by going up? Now remember that we have to go up when we are making it a multiple of 10. So if we go up, we will have to add a 1 to it to make it 20. Okay. And remember this one. And remember not the 0 but this 2. Okay. And we will set up the question again. In a slightly different way so 247 stays the same and we have to now divide it not by 19 but by this 2 okay so this 2 comes here and we have to remember this one because this is something called a multiplier okay so remember this one just keep it up there keep this part separate Okay, this part is the remainder area. So we are going to handle it differently as compared to this part. Okay, so now let's start the division. This is now our new divisor and this is a multiplier we, that we will be using in a special way. And this is our remainder area. And where did this 2 come from? We turned our divisor the original divisor into a multiple of 10 by going up and we took the tens digit from it that was 2 and we remembered the number that we added to make it a multiple of 10 and that was 1 and that became the multiplier okay so 247 divided by 2 now 2 divided by 2 very easy the answer is 1 and it's a clean division and the remainder is 0 but because I have to teach you the method so remember that the remainder will come here but it does not have any impact because it's a zero, okay? Now, this is the important part. Whatever the last answer was, you multiply it by the multiplier. So, one multiplied by one is one and you add it to the second number, okay? So, four plus one is, what number is it? Five. So, this is now our new number, okay? So, we have to now deal with this number and not 
4, okay? So 5. Now 5 divided by 2. 5 divided by 2, 2 times 2 is 4. So 4 is the closest to 5, but there is a remainder, okay? So we have to subtract 4 from 5 and the remainder is 1 and this comes here. But remember that we have to multiply the last answer that is 2 by 1, the multiplier to get 2. Okay, 2 multiplied by 1 is 2 and we have to add it to 17, okay, because this became 17 as 1 was the remainder here. So 17 plus 2 is equal to 19, okay. So this is the new number and because this is the remainder, remainder area, remember that we split it in a way that we will handle it differently from the rest of the areas. This is the remainder area and the remainder area we will divide it by the original divisor that is 19. So 19 divided by 19 is 1, very simple. But the answer will not come here, it will be added to whatever we have here. So 12 plus 1 is equal to 13, okay. And that is the answer. The answer is 13. 247 divided by 19 is equal to 13. Let's do another question so that you understand the trick more. 1081 divided by 47. So let's set up the question first. How can we make 47 into a multiple of 10? We add a 3 to it, okay? And it becomes 50, okay? And remember that this 5 is the new divisor. And this 3 is the new multiplier, okay? And let's set up the question. 1081 divided by the new divisor 5, the multiplier that we will be using. And remember the remainder area, okay? This is the remainder area. So let's start the division. Now, 1, too small to be divided by 5. So we have to consider this 10 as a whole okay so 10 divided by 5 is 2 okay with no remainder the remainder is 0 but let's just put it here so that we know that it always comes here so 0 does not have any impact on 8 and it stays 8 but the multiplier we have to multiply 2 by 3 to get 6 and 6 plus 8 is equal to 14 so this 8 actually now becomes 14 and what is 14 divided by 5? Now, again, 5 times 2 is 10. So 10 is the closest to 14 in the table of 5 because we have to look for a number that is less than 14, okay? So it cannot be 3 5s are 15. It has to be 2 5s are 10. So 2 becomes the answer, part of the quotient, but it's not a clean division and 4 is left as a remainder. So this 4 comes here and now this becomes 41, but... Don't forget that we have to add 2 multiply by 3, which is 6, to 41, so that it becomes, what number? 47. And remember that we have to tackle this area differently from this area. So, we have to divide this new number, 47, by the original divisor. And 47 divided by 47 is 1. And we have to add that 1 to this part so that it becomes 23. So the answer is 23. Okay, clear? Let's do one last question. Okay, 406 divided by 29. Okay, pause the video and try to do it yourself. So let's go on with the answer. 29, we add a 1 to it to make it 30. And remember that this 3 is our new divisor and we have to remember this 1 which is our multiplier. So let's set the question 406 divided by the new divisor and remember the multiplier. And remember that this is the remainder area, this side, okay. So 4 divided by 3 is 1, okay. But there is a remainder and the remainder is just 1, okay. So 10, but this will not stay 10 for long because we have to add 1 multiply by 1 to it. So this becomes, instead of 10, it becomes 11, okay. Now 11 divided by 3. So 11 divided by 3. Now we know that 3 multiplied by 3 is equal to 9. So this is the closest we will get to 11. So 3 comes here and 
this is not a clean division so 11 minus 9 is equal to 2 okay that is the remainder so this becomes 26 but hold on we have to add 3 multiply by 1 to it so that it becomes actually 29 and we have to divide this 29 because it's the remainder area by the original divisor and we will get a 1. And remember that this 1 will not come here because we are dealing with the remainder area. This 1 will be actually added to this 13 so that our final answer is 14. So I hope you like this trick and please practice and soon you will become very fast. And for practice, you can use my Mental Maths app. It is available for free for download from Google Play Store. In the beginning, you might need some paper to set the question, but soon you will become so fast at it that you will be able to do it completely in your brain. Do share my video with your friends and family. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, kindly do so. And in my next class, I will teach you some other Mental Maths tricks. Till then, have a good day and goodbye.